Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, I'm going to design the splash screen of our piano app. But before that, you need to download this file. This is a project app logo file that is in a WinRAR format, means a RAR file. When you extract this file, you will get this folder. And inside of this folder, I have created a logo for the app. So we are simply going to copy this logo and I'm going to paste it into inside the Android Studio. Simply I'm going to click on this project tab and from there, I'm going to select this driver tag and here I'm going to right click it and I'm going to paste it there that's our piano underscore icon do underscore logo so I'm going to rename it into simple logo and hit ok now I'm going to close all the activities files means the open file and from there I'm going to select the activity splash dot xml file so I'm going to switch it into landscape mode and from there I'm going to select a one image view and I'm going to drag it at the middle of the screen and from there I'm going to select my piano logo that is this one and hit ok now I'm going to place it into the middle of the screen and adjusting the constraint so I have done the adjustment of the image view now I'm going to select a text view just placing at the middle of the screen and I'm going to select it here, there, and I'm going to select make it into the middle. Now I'm going to switch into text mode and by selecting the text view, and I'm going to name the text view as means on the name of our piano app because I have not specified the name of my piano app. So I'm going to name it as Easy Piano. Because I have I'm name it as Easy Piano because I showed you the most easiest way of creating the piano application. Then I'm going to Increase the size of this to 40 dp. Now, 40 dp is too big for the logo as well because I want to make it a little smaller. So, 15 dp now I'm going to make it into 30 dp. 30 dp seems more. I'm going to make it 20 dp. And I'm going to specify the text style to bold and the text color. I'm going to specify it into hashtag 000 for the darker black. Then for the background color, I'm going to choose the same color that is of this taskbar. That is our this. Now for the background color, I'm going to use the same color like this one. So this is our layout. So I'm going to try background color color primary dark so this will be the same look like our this color so you can use it color experiment with the color just for the demonstration purpose i'm using a this color so i have did the coding and now it's time to actually connect the file to our splash screen activity so i'm opening a splash screen activity and at the top i need to create some variable so here i'm going to initialize my image view that is image view image view and I'm going to specify it with the S that is for splash and again I'm going to type a text view and a text view and again I'm going to specify it end it with the S that is for splash then I need to initialize these views into on create method so this is our on create method at the top of I'm going to initialize here our all the views so I'm going to type image view that's image view equal to and I'm going to type class into image view then I'm going to find view ID and the ID I'm going to, right now I don't specify the ID it's a default ID so I'm going to specify the ID to splash and at the end of this text view I'm going to also specify the ID as splash so that's it for the ID and r dot ID dot splash now first I need to type image view that is splash and hit a semicolon then I'm going to specify the text view as equals to text view then find view by id and then r dot id dot text view text view splash then hit a semicolon at the end 
So I have initialized the views and I have designed the application layout that is for this splash screen. Let's make it little top. That's it. So that's all about this lecture. In next lecture, I'm going to add the some more code for our splash screen activity. That is for splash screen transition. So that's all about this lecture. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.